Now, uh, bueno, a continuación, eh, la investigadora principal va a hablarnos sobre el proyecto. Now, the principal investigator is going to take about to talk us about the, the project. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, Pablo. Thank you very much, Adela, for coming here. It's a pleasure for me to present the, this project and also to welcome you to to introduce it for our community, for our university, and especially for one thing that you said five minutes ago. It's for telling people how these projects are and yeah, telling them that they have to apply for them and to join our community. So one of the ideas that they have of presenting this kickoff meeting is like telling people, well, this project is it and it's, it's worth to, to join the community. So that's for you too. Now I want to talk to you about my project because yeah, this project looks a mystery. I did an application and now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do during the five uh, next year. I'm going to speak in English because I have my presentation in English and this is a European presentation, but I will be happy to explain everything you understand in Spanish or every qualification you want me to, to do after that. Well, first of all, I wanted to start by speaking of my, the target of this study. This is a poem, this is a medieval poem, which I analyzed in my dissertation work. And I did in a very traditional way, in a very traditional humanistic way, counting syllables with my fingers and analyzing with a pen and pencil all the magical stuff that I understand there. So I tried to compare two or three testimonies of poems at the same time. I looked for similar evidences and reading in papers and books and I did in a, in a very individual way, analyzing a lot of bibliography, poems, books and this kind of stuff. And now what I'm proposing in this project is to transform this traditional research into a digital humanities research world in which the counting syllables could be transformed in an automated way. Three or two testimonies of poems could be compared at the same time, but not only two and three, but thousands of testimonies using computational methods. Also, using tools that could let me to find multiple evidences through one search engine at the same time, and transforming individual research into a collaborative, interdisciplinary, and multilingual and multipurpose research. And that's the most important part of the project. So this is the challenge of the project post data that wants to join philological and computational research to build a virtual and digital semantic poetry world. But there are some challenges and barriers when trying to face this kind of project because one poem like the one I showed you at the beginning can be named in four different ways depending on the metrical or the philological tradition that we use to analyze it. For, for example, this poem, which is a very well-known poem of the Carmina Burana, depending on the tradition that we use, can be named in four different ways. Alexandrine, Colard poem, Romance 12A, 12A notation system, or the classical Latin system. So this is a mess when trying to face a systematic analysis of the poems. But there are also technological barriers as, uh, for example, in this picture, I can show you this is the timeline of the evolution of the web in the last 20 years. The first poetical repertoires appeared in the early 19s. I, they were published as paper repertoires in which every metrical poem and metrical notation was represented as a printed poem and a, like a telephone list. Then when the first computers appeared, they tried to systematize the, all the philological notation and to transform it into databases. After that, when the World, World Wide Web appeared, these websites and databases were transformed into HTML sites. But then there were some community researchers that started to do research in data humanities and tactics with the TI and the tagging semantic structure for poetry too. The last 10 years have been very quick in terms of technological evolution and there are many different technological systems that have been mixed to encode and codify different kinds of poetry, project and humanity system. The result is that there is no a standardized technology to analyze and to gather all these different humanities projects. So what these projects want to do is to boost standardization and interoperability both in technological and philological worlds in order to be able to recover information, 
to make them interoperable and to boost a collaboration between humanities projects and technological solutions. This is the vision of PostData and this is the project that I want to develop during the next, next five years. This project has, is based on three axes. We have a philological basis in which we will build an abstract model in order to define which are the most common shared elements for the different philological traditions. Then, in the technological part, we will build an ontology for poetry as linked to open data in order to encode and translate this philological model into a computational system that is able to link and identify each different problem in the philological part. But there is also a very important third step, which is the society, the impact, the purpose of this project. This philological problem and technological solution will be transformed into a platform which will be offered to society for poetry storage, analysis, and poetry consume and use for different types of uses. And this is also a very important part of the project. But let's start first explaining how will we develop each part of the project. First, at the philological level, when we try to analyze a poem, there are some kind of common elements that are uh, defining each type of different text. We have author, title, incipit, date of composition, language. These are metadata or common data, which are very common of the different types of text. But there are also a different kind of metadata which are specific for analyzing poetry, like metrical scheme, rhyme, accent pattern, poetic form, number of lines, and these kind of things. And this kind of metadata are especially difficult to encode because each different literary tradition has encoded it in a different way, as I showed you before. Once we have conceptualized this model, we will build an ontology, a semantic model, which will be an computational ontology which gather all the different metadata which are common in the different poetic tradition. And we will identify in this abstract common model the equivalence of each different database in Spanish and Latin, the name of the stanza, the name of the author, the date of composition, the metrical schema, the accentual pattern, and this, all these kind of things. We will link it to our semantic model. And then we will also link all this stuff to other linked data models, for example, for author and category classification, geographical localization, musical notation, or DBpedia, which is the semantic version of the Wikipedia. So our purpose is to link and identify all this information to other ontology and semantic systems in the web. We will have three parts. We will have a semantic part in which data will be expressed as RDF, the language of the semantic webs, which will be linked with other elements from our own ontology and from other ontologies. And we will build a structure to be able to recover and gather this information with all the different parts of the project and with other projects too. So this common abstract conceptualization will have different uh, performance in the different languages. So we will have, for example, Copla, Crostic, Arte Mayor in Spanish, but we will have also the equivalent in Italian, in French, and Slavic, and different languages. The result of this will be a platform which will have a repository in which uh, authors and researchers will be able to upload, comment, annotate, and uh, place poetry collection and poetic treatises collection. We will have a part which will be a lab to play with apps and tools to analyze poetry in an automated way. And we will have also a community platform, a virtual research environment to work with poetry with different types of users and different communities of researchers. Everything will be online. We will build a user-friendly interface and we will be focused on the different kinds of users and profile. And this will be the final product of the project. So, this is our vision as we see now the project post data. The ontology will be in the lower level, so we are now in the first stage of the project, building all the semantic system and conceptualization in order to develop the building of our project on top of that. And then, once the conceptual model is defined, we will have uh, like three different work packages or um, 
pillars of the project. One will be devoted to the communication of the different existing repertoires and databases which work in Europe and also outside Europe with European poetic databases. The other one will be the development of a virtual research environment for digital poetry edition and poetic collection, where users and researchers will be able to upload their treatises and text. And we will have a poetry lab in which we will try to build from the computational point of view apps and tools to analyze, to play with poems, and perhaps to develop further apps for the market in the future. Who never know. On top of all this, we will have a user interface which will be developed at the end of the project. In which we will have a meta searcher engine where will will let us to recover different information linked from the different databases and resources. And also an exploration interface when we will be able to discover the contents of all this poetic world through different tools and visualizations like maps, wraps, and cloud words, for example. So this is our whole project, which will have different types of users, which will be useful for researchers and also for the community of scholars and not specialized people that want to work with poetry and to know more about poetry. As Adela said, the project will last for five years. The first year and general half will be based on analysis and conceptualization in order to build this ontology. The, in the middle of the project, we will have the three years of more development and computational development and tools. And the last year of the project will be especially devoted to show the project to the world, to, to en enlarge the community of users and to make diffusion and publicity and to explore further application of our results to other fields like tourism, education and other types of users. This is the structure of our team, which uh, will have a humanist part and a computational part. As this is a digital humanities project, this is a very inter interdisciplinary team where we have uh, our very traditional medievalist background as a philologist and we work in a literature department. But we also have a strong collaboration with the School of Informatics and we have uh, also computer scientists in our team. And we will work together to build this digital humanities project in the sense of digital humanities conceived from the point of view that we work together, we share experience, and we learn all the time from each other. We will also have a training environment for students, for ourselves, and for collaborators, because our purpose is to build a community of researchers which will be guided by an advisory board with people that are coming from outside. But for example, we have Jimena from Argentina and we have other people that will help to the, pro to the finalization of the project and are collaborating with us too. And we want to transmit this to our students too in order to build this community for digital humanities and also for poetry. And finally, I want to underline that this project wants to be a project which uh, will change the future of uh, philological research in terms of uh, how will we face poetry before post data and after post data. And we want to transform the ways in which traditional humanists and traditional philologists work to boost the digital humanities tools and learning to boost the collaborative work and to improve the results of collaboration in this kind of sense. But we also want to have a big impact for the public at large because we are going to create a big collection of open access poetry online. We want to guarantee in this way the quality of our cultural preservation of our poetry collection and to, we want to offer and to gain visibility to this collection that are now hidden in different very specialized database and we want to offer them to the public and be able to get access to them. And we have want to explore and develop further application for areas outside the academy and outside the university. So this is a very quick view of the project, but we will be happy to explain you more details about it and to invite you to collaborate with us. Thank you very much. <laughs>